I'm gonna walk you through a brand new remodeling website that we are launching right now. I'm gonna show you the before of the current website that the contractor has. They actually built it themselves. Then I'm gonna show you the after and kind of show you the transition between the two, show you exactly why we use certain things and just kind of run you down exactly the mentality that we have when we work with the contractor to actually build a website. The website right now is being transferred over. So for some crazy reason, halfway through the before website looks like the after website. It's just because it's switched over, but we're going to pretend like that's not going to happen and move on otherwise. So the initial website that they first had is this one right here. It's great to establish your brand. However, when your logo is the first thing that you have right there, the, unless you're like a Nike or an Uber or an Apple or some brand that everybody knows and can instantaneously look at this logo and go, okay, I know everything about the company, you may want to keep it smaller. And when I say may, you definitely want to keep it smaller, all right? The first image when you come in needs to be something that um, evokes a bit of emotion that's relevant to what you do just to kind of back up exactly the services and the company that you stand for on the website. So coming down, pretty basic, um, you know, just showing some of the services that they provide. They're in a pretty unique situation because they were actually former building inspectors. So it's kind of a cool spin on everything where they now cross the line to the other side is now actually contractors. So we like to add a bit of that feel into the new website. So still going on the old website, honesty and reliability, quality, construction, affordable pricing. The one thing that a lot of contractors and a lot of companies in general love to do is use buzzwords like this which is fine. However, how do we back that up and show them? What example or testimonial can we give them that will show people, okay, that makes sense. Quality construction, same deal, affordable pricing, put your pricing up there, all right? That's how you show them, not just tell them, right? Now fast forward to the new website that we are launching for them. The idea is here in Charlotte, most of the remodels that are happening are actually home additions because the uh, prices of homes is going way up and instead of building a new home, you just add on to it. Get the most out of your home. That's the very first thing that we wanna put in people's head is you just bought this home. Why would you not utilize as much of it as you can or add on to it? So that's really what we're going for for the whole website here. Logo is smaller at the top, gets the brand out there. However, it's not necessarily the only thing that you see. It's just kind of a supplement to everything else. You'll notice on a lot of our websites, we use orange as the buttons. And the only thing on the website that's orange are those buttons. And the reason for that is orange stands out a lot. The buttons need to stand out more so than everything else because this is your main ask. This is like when you're going to sell somebody something and you say, okay, do you wanna move forward? Or okay, do you wanna buy this from me? If it stands out, there is no hesitation as far as what you're trying to accomplish, which is generate a sale. But if this color of the button is, let's say a different color blue, or not something that stands out a lot, it just blends in with everything else and you don't know what the contractor wants you to actually do. People love to be guided because that way you remove all the unknown of what the website's there for. This website is here to do one main thing, two main things, one, build trust, and two, get you to schedule a consultation. And without this, people don't know what action you want them to take and they're gonna leave. All right, come down a couple um, feel good things, you know, live comfortably, love the home, connect with family, because at the end of the day, you know, home is where the heart is. That's really what we're going for here. Um, this is a bit of an intro. Your home should work for your lifestyle. Again, really trying to knock out that we really want your home to work for you. You just bought it. This is the biggest purchase of your life. What if it's only 70% there? That's not what we want. We want you to absolutely love it. And that's why we're here. A couple basic um, services, most popular ones that we do. Some of the work, just a nice little gallery, how it works. One thing that contractors love to do is to show their expertise by showing how complicated or sophisticated is the better word they are. However, the more sophisticated you are, the more complicated it seems to work with you. Meaning if you say, here's our 14 step process of working with us, that's way too much. But three simple steps, let's talk about it. Two, We'll actually do it. Three, enjoy your new home, right? Three basic steps. People can get behind that. Here's a couple trust factors. We don't just care about your home, we care about you. That's an empathy thing. 
these are showing credibility, how many houses built, how many family members together, how many hours of quality time. It, it just shows that without saying, hey, look, we have tons of experience. It's just showing some numbers to make people feel like they can trust you. And that's the homepage in general. The idea is to do uh, build trust through empathy and through authority in this space. Empathy is we don't just care about you over your home. We care about you. Authority is more about here's some of our work and here is some basic figures of how many houses we've worked on, stuff like that, right? So let's say you come up and say you choose, you know, home remodeling, right? This could be a couple things because they have uh, bathroom, kitchen, and home additions, right? Those are three different things. So if you come to any one of these, let's just click on bathroom. The main goal or the main reason that people upgrade their bathrooms here is because of functionality. So we talk about the function, right? How do you actually do that? How do you make that work? What are some of the benefits also? We like to break that out into three little bullet points because those are easy to read. Instead of making this a huge block of text, which a lot of people love to do on their websites, just make it easy. So if you're just skimming, because what most people will do on this website is immediately come down and come back up and go, okay, now I'll read that. 94% of people are gonna determine if they wanna read a website or a page or whatever it is based off the form than it is actually the content. So that means that if 100 people come to this page, 94 are gonna scroll up and down just to see what it looks like and then go, is this too overwhelming to look at? Or, okay, this looks good, I'll read it. So we like to keep this nice and basic. Freestanding tub, which you, here's some of the benefits. Freestanding tub, need more bathroom storage, add some cabinets, increase the space so it's easier to get ready. That's what we're going for, space thing, right? Let's say they don't schedule the consultation from right this button. Because that's the, that's the idea, is to have a nice picture and then some words to back it up off to the side and then boom, let's get you in the door. If they don't, the rest of this page is meant to build the trust enough that you will actually hire them for a bathroom remodel, right? Here are some popular changes. People don't like to deviate from the norm. They like to stand out in a good way, but they don't want to totally deviate from the norm. So by just saying, here's what other people in your situation do and going third party, AKA popular bathroom changes, people like that. They want to go with the trends. So you're now steering them in the right direction. So based off this, this would say you got one or two options really, or both increase the space and or add a freestanding tub. Coming down again, three easy steps, right? Your vision, sit back and hang out, watch us deal, you know, deal with actual construction and then relax and enjoy. Moving down, we're going into the morning side of things, right? Bathroom renovations to enhance your morning because everybody knows what that's like getting ready in the morning. So now we're going for the emotional play. You know what it's like in the morning when you get up and you know, work is already stressful. And then what's even more stressful? Well, you, now you gotta actually get ready and fight with your partner in the morning in this tiny bathroom. Let's go ahead and fix that. Let's expand it a little bit so you're not on top of each other. Putting a plan into action before, design, after. Proof's in the pudding. A couple of testimonials, and then finally the call to action. And that's how each one of these pages are set up. Build the trust throughout the whole thing. Talk a bit about how you care about you know, what is going on with not just their home, but also their family and their um, their life before or, or life after having the new bathroom. Um, show a bit of credibility with some testimonials and some pictures, and that really will build that you are the remodeler for them. All right, a lot of people, what they love to do on the About Us page is talk about them, which is, you think would make sense, right? However, everything that you wanna do on your About Us page is actually about the customer. How do you take what, what is about you and spin it to about them. Devin has, she has a degree in construction management, right? You would then want to spin that into, you know, how does this actually benefit the contract or the homeowner? Or like she grew up in a, in a contracting industry, you know, like in that world. So this is actually the perfect fit for her because she's been doing it for her whole life. And don't overload them. A lot of people love to give all their criteria and all their details. And the more that you show, oh, I'm this super sophisticated person, again, it's confusing. All right, you could be high class and do things very professionally. However, at the end of the day, you don't need a PhD to, to install a new bathroom. So you don't need to put a PhD on there. And then finally, the, um, we'll do the mm, schedule a consultation page. How about that? Come on in. Basic, name, email, phone number, 
you don't need address. Pretty much what you want here is you want to ask the minimum amount of information to be able to call that person up or get in contact with that person and have a good conversation. Some people like to do address, budget, all this stuff. The more spaces that you have for people to fill out, the more overwhelming it is because it looks like you got to fill out a lot of stuff and people don't want that. And you may be thinking, well, I don't really want somebody, you know, who's not going to fill this form out for, you know, a $20,000 project. Yes. However, the website's job is to help you sell, not sell it 100% for you. It's a sales tool, but not the end all be all. You just want to get them on the phone and then work your magic as a salesman to just figure out what's going on. Can you help them walk them through that process? But the more that you put out here and the more uh, obstacles for them to actually fill out the form, the harder it's going to be to actually get them on the phone. So don't overcomplicate it. Don't ask them for all this extra information. Don't overdo it on these forms if you have one. Um, and then finally, add a couple trust factors right here on the contact us page because you're asking them for something. You're asking them to give up their information. If they don't feel like they totally trust you, well, what's right off to the side? A bit of trust from other people that have worked with you that will kind of vouch for you. So that will help convince them if they're like on the edge of if they want to fill it out or not, this will help you out. So make sure you have one of those. And that is the website in a nutshell. Hope this helps. Do me a favor. If this was beneficial to you, hit the subscribe button because it helps generate this YouTube algorithm. Oh, I'm sorry, YouTube algorithm to like boost us up and get our message of helping contractors out there to even more people. And that's really what we want to do at the end of the day, help contractors grow their own business. And these videos help a lot. Thank you.